I think it's um, really neat that you touch on, you know, our previous, um, yeah, results. And I guess um, that's something we're really uh, passionate about in terms of learning, you know, from from the girls that have gone before us and, and drawing on their experience. Um, and so, yeah, I think for, for this group, uh, obviously only a few weeks away now, which is really exciting. We, um, yeah, we honestly just can't wait, I think. I haven't had a whole lot of uh, international test matches over the last few years. Obviously, you know, we've had a bit of a halt on those with COVID, but I think everyone is just honestly so excited and, and we're really looking forward to um, putting up some good competition results and, and getting into it. Obviously, we... Um, started really well and, and I think that's something to draw on is the fact that we know how well we can play and um, you know how well we can compete so yeah we'll draw on that and then obviously um, you know disappointing not to to sort of carry on from that performance and potentially have a few um, a few games that yeah we weren't really that happy with um, so I think yeah obviously like you say we take a lot of learnings from those experiences and and obviously with this group um, we just want everyone to really have a go, play with confidence and, and go out there knowing that we can win these games. Obviously we're, you know, pretty gutted to miss out on the Pro League. It's a really special, um, yeah, I suppose, league and, and ability and way for us to get games, international games and experience, particularly with a group that potentially, you know, we are a wee bit lower in cats. Um, but equally, I think we have trained so hard here over the last few months and, and as a group, we're really um, intent on pushing each other and we've had a lot of great local um, domestic competitions and, and yeah, I think it's been such a showcase of talent throughout the country. and in a real showcase of character of people being able to turn up and train day in, day out. So, yeah, I think um, obviously disappointing to miss out on those, but great to be able to have played Australia just recently. Um, that, that's a fantastic competition for us we've had over the last couple of years. So, yeah, we um, take what we can get and, and train hard when we can. Yeah, we've missed it too. Um, honestly, I, I just feel really, really excited about this group. I think, um, you know, we've just been chipping away down here in little old New Zealand and, and training really hard. And I think, honestly, we've just got such a talented group that um, it, it just makes me really excited. And so I think, obviously, yeah, we haven't had the matches probably that we would have hoped, but um, I honestly think we're, we're tracking in the right direction. And I honestly just can't wait for us to get out there and, and play at the World Cup. All fantastic quality sides, really. Fast pace, tempo, counter attack hockey, and, and some real solid defense. So um, I think we'll obviously, um, be taking a, a game at a time and, and really focusing on um, winning those important important pull games. Um, but yeah, obviously quality sides, but I think also we're really focusing on what we can bring and, and what our strengths are. And so we'll be we'll be looking to uh, bring what we can as a group and, and yeah, hopefully get the right result for us. Yeah, I feel like we are so, so blessed with wonderful supporters here in New Zealand. And I just know that we're going to have everyone back home, whether it's our families, our family friends or our neighbours or anyone in the community. Um, everyone is so passionate about hockey here when they're, when they're involved. So we know we're going to have so much support and we're so grateful for that. We really couldn't do it without without everyone in behind us. So we look forward to hearing that from, from back home and we really hope we can do everyone proud.